Good morning. Welcome to Frequently Asked Questions Friday. Today's question is coming from buyers all across the area. How do I win my offer in a multiple offer situation? That means that there are more than one offer, there is more than one offer on a property and it's happening all the time. When a great home comes on the market, you better have a game plan in place. Here's our game plan. This is what I tell my buyers. Number one, make sure that you have a strong pre-approval letter in hand from a reputable lender. And when I say in hand, make sure that you're not just starting the process of getting your, your mortgage pre-approval. Make sure you've gone through the process that you have the letter or you are able to get the letter from your lender within you know, a, a fairly short period of time, minutes hopefully. Um, also, we are including something called a BFI. It's a document that had kind of gone by the wayside in lieu of a pre-approval letter, but in this market, we want to present the strongest financial picture that you can in, in these situations. So including a BFI, which is a buyer's financial information sheet, uh, it paints that picture of how strong of a buyer you are. So pre-approval letter and the buyer's financial. Number two, stay focused. Make sure that your agent has your searches set to include something new called coming soons. Uh, there are, now the MLS allows us to uh, list things as a coming soon, which means it's not ready yet for showing, but it is coming. So. If you get coming soons to your inbox, you can kind of do a little bit of um, reconnaissance. You can go out and do some outside looking at the house, find out if it might be a good home for you, and then it's on your radar. Then make sure your agent is watching uh, for when it's gonna be available and schedule that showing right away, as soon as you possibly can. Also, make sure that your inbox is getting read. Make sure that you're checking every morning and make sure that your um, searches are set to come immediately when a property comes on to the hot list. When something comes on the market, make sure it comes directly to you. There's a, a search button that's able to be set in your searches that say, send them all at one time. You do not want that. You want to make sure that your searches are set up to come immediately to your inbox. Make sure that you have a game plan. The game plan is very important right now. Make sure you have your pre-approval letter. Make sure you have BFI. Make sure that all your paperwork is finished so that you basically have a package that's ready to plug in the numbers that you need, the address, all the specifics, the prices, your contingencies for inspections, all the things that are going to be specific to a specific property, but make sure all the other paperwork is ready so that you don't have to spend an evening going through this when the houses that you are in love with and want to call home comes on the market that you have your package together. You have your pre-approval, you have your buyer's financial, you have all of your paperwork filled out. Just plug in those numbers and you're good to go. You can move quickly. And number three, be available. When a property comes on the market, the sad truth is that if you're not able to get out there and see that property that day or the next morning, most likely it's not going to be there much longer. Now this is very sad, hard, hard, hard for my first time home buyers out there, but you have to be ready to jump. Jump off that fence. You're going to have contingencies to help protect you. In other words, if, if something turns up as far as an inspection or something about the property, you would select certain contingencies that will protect you that you could get out of the transaction later. But you have to be so committed right now in this fast market that you're able to decide that this home is the one you want and pull that trigger as quickly as possible or you're just not going to uh, win. You want to be the top of that list. Those are your... Um, three tips. Make sure in number three, let me just add, make sure that you are a available and you're working 
as a team with your agent. Your agent should know exactly what comes on the market and if it's going to fit what you need. They can send you a text. They can send you an email. They can make a phone call. Hey, this is coming on the market. Make sure you answer the phone, respond to texts, stay aware, be available. You have to be committed to this and ready to move. It's a sad, sad thing that you have to move as quickly on such a big transaction, but if you are seriously a buyer in this market, that's where we are right now. Hope that helps. If you still have questions, which I'm sure you do, there's so much more uh, that I can, can talk to you about um, how you can win in multiple offer situations, feel free to message me. Um, you can message me on Instagram. Uh, hit the message button in Facebook. Good old text or phone call still works. So um, have a good day, and I hope that helps a little bit in your buying situation. Happy Friday.